and uh, now let me try to do uh, screen uh, sharing here. Okay. Can you see my screen there? I hope you guys can see my screen. Yes, we can. Okay. Okay, what I'm showing here is uh, what I call my updated syllabus. And uh, I've posted it on the Moodle. Uh, so um, you can go there and download the P PDF. But let me let me go over it. And uh, I think you're going to probably need to refer to it on a regular basis as we uh, go through the next couple of months here to finish the course. And um, so uh, I'm not going to be uh, doing a quiz in the beginning of the class uh, because I'm not quite sure how to make that work anyway. And but what I'm going to do is to uh, uh, well, let me just go through go through this. Um, I'm planning right now on um, I'm probably doing uh, a, a final exam at the end of the course. And instead of doing the quizzes uh, every uh, every week or every class. And what I'm going to do is uh, tell you what the questions will be like on the final exam. And uh, I'm also going to prepare a sample final that I'll make available to you uh, before beforehand so you can look at it. And uh, so uh, we'll finish up the grade for the course with this final exam and hopefully uh, everybody will do well and it, it won't be a problem. Um, now, uh, I just giving you some information here about the final about some things you can be pretty sure there will be questions on in the final. Um, now, just at the just before classes got canceled, uh, we were going into hamming error correcting codes. I don't know if we actually did those lectures or not. I have a couple of of uh, PDFs posted on the Moodle about this, and he also talks about it a bit. In, uh, in one of his videos, you remember we were looking at those videos by the textbook author. So, and you can find a lot of information about the Hamming error correcting codes online. There are several Wikipedia pages about it. And uh, so there will be a question about Hamming error correcting codes. And I'll be showing you a link to a video uh, that I made about the Hamming codes too. I'll be showing you that link shortly. Um, I'm also probably have a question on uh, public key en encryption or Euler's Totian function. We talked about that a little bit too. I'm pretty sure you've forgotten all of this stuff. So uh, uh, and uh, so he. He uh, talks about some of this stuff in the videos. And again, there's a lot of information available uh, online about this. And uh, so uh, you might want to keep this in mind as we approach uh, the time of the final at the end of the course. Um, also, I will probably have a question on that Arduino system uh, that we made. A simple question, but uh, we I was using the Arduino as an example of how the physical layer works. And um, 
So I'll probably have a simple question about that. Uh, uh, and um, uh, so you can be pretty sure there will be a question about each of these items on the final. And um, now I have right here a link to the page where all the textbook videos are. And I have additional links to those videos later on in this document. So you pull down the PDF file and click on this. You should pull up the, uh, the online page where all of those textbook videos are located. And uh, I've begun here because I know you probably have forgotten everything. Uh, I've begun things here with a couple of, I call them refresh questions. And um, they're uh, a little bit more than refresh questions because they take some things that we've talked about in the course. And at least in a couple of places, I also link them to other things that you have learned over the years, uh, such as probability and statistics. So I, this week, instead of doing a midterm, which strikes me as a dumb thing to do since it's been so long since you have taken the first half of the course, um, I want you to go through these questions here, these refresh questions, and I'll say there are sort of two and a half questions. Um, the first question here is um, about a, a transmission of a packet. The packet's broken up into 10 frames, and then each frame is transmitted over a network, and there's a certain probability of successful transmission for each frame. And then I want you to uh, compute, since there are going to be 10 frames, I want you to compute um, the expected value of the random variable, which is uh, which represents the number of times you're going to have to try to transmit the packet. In other words, you have to successfully transmit each of the 10 frames in order for the packet to be successfully transmitted. And uh, so the first time you try to transmit the 10 frames, there's an error in one of the frames. So then you want to retransmit the whole 10 frames again. And there'll be um, another error. And then you try to retransmit again. So the question I'm asking is, on average, how many times are you going to have to, ride to try to do this retransmission in order to get the packet uh, successfully transmitted. So I, I hope that that question is, uh, is pretty clear. Um, then I go through the solution, which I've written down here, right in here. And uh, then what I've done is I have actually uh, gone through the, the detailed mathematics of how that solution is computed. And I have a link to the video right here. Here's a link. Now, I made this video and I've posted all the videos uh, that I make, I post them on my YouTube page. So let me, let me pull that down here. So my YouTube page is called My Avalon Photography. And I post all of my videos that I make for any course, for anything whatsoever, I post them on this YouTube page. And uh, in particular, uh, the three videos that I reference here at the beginning of this document right in here, these, these three videos are, are videos that I produce that are referenced right in these questions, these refresh questions right up here. OK, so the one question is about uh, what is the expected number of times that you have to try to be, that you transmit the packet before it's successfully transmitted? 
and I think that's this video right here. So let me click on that. Assess what you remember from previous material in so this course. And even here's the video courses, here. Uh, in order to help you understand and your readiness for continuing on. You see what this video is range. just uh, so that's going through the solution the the that I have Reasonable. written out sum goes from zero right on here. that document uh, right, uh, so uh, that's the that's that video right there now i have asked another question which is more challenging than this question and the second question i ask related to this transmission uh packet transmission issue is after you've computed the expected number of times you have to uh, re the expected number of times you have to transmit in order to get a successful transmission. And uh, I ask you to compute the, the variance or standard deviation on that expected number. And that is linked here on this video right in here. It's also on the YouTube right in here, and that is right in here. Uh, now, there. Two to infinity of n squared. There, let me back up here. Okay, now. Okay. So. The videos appear the last, differently. And the reason why they appear differently is the first video I recorded on my laptop. And the second video I recorded on my um, iPad. So. Um, uh, that's why they appear different. Uh, and uh, I like, really like using the iPad off. I have something that I actually have to write down. Um, I like doing it with the iPad. And uh, uh, it, uh, it's a really easy way for me to, to make these videos. Okay, now, so those are the first two videos that I reference. Uh, uh, and um, this video here is pretty long here. Let me look at it. Let me go back. Two, it looks like two it's uh, almost 40 minutes square. long to give Q. you some idea. The first video over here, I don't think is even 20 it minutes says, long. Yeah, it's, it's like 16, 17 minutes long. Material. Okay, then I have uh, the, so those are, for question number one, which is in two parts, to compute the expected number of, of transmissions. And then the second part is the variance on the number of transmissions. And I go through in, in detail on those solutions. So I, I, hope, um, I hope you can look at it and make sense out of it. Um, it might be a good place here for me to mention. Um, you, uh, you can send me an email anytime. Please don't be hesitant about sending me an email. And um, uh, if you have a question, if it, email is not a good way to answer the question, we, uh, we can connect uh, on a video link, either Zoom or uh, on uh, Microsoft Teams here, connect on a video link and, and chat about something. Okay, now let's see. Uh, the third video is referenced down here is in fact about the Hamming error correcting codes right in here. And that video is linked right here. And uh, let me pull that one up. It's this idea that is so simple and so clever. And you think, boy, why didn't I think of that? And at the same time, the idea has a profound impact on, on the progress of science or technology or wherever the idea uh, happens to reside and what area of luck so, at that. So, so I recorded this on my generate. iPad also. Okay. Um, this and is um, the, uh, so um, Hamming coded word that's trained. And this Excel spreadsheet each is on the Moodle. In that coded word, there's and hopefully, and uh, 
there. You know, I, I record and something and, and then I go back and look at it and I'm always second guessing myself as to how uh, clear it is and uh, whether somebody should can look at it and understand what it's about because I, I, I in the course of recording the video, I, you know, I make lots of little mistakes and, but hopefully they're not uh, uh, deadly mistakes just, um, and, uh, so hopefully, uh, you'll be able to look at this video. I think this does a much more comprehensive description of how the Hamming codes work than the textbook does. In fact, than any anything that I've uh, done that I've seen online, this does a, a more comprehensive description of the Hamming error correcting codes. Um, and uh, so, what I want you to do this week, like I said, is look over this first part, as I call them, these refresh questions. And then, as we move into next week, I what I do the way I have this organized as I refer to each class. So let's say next week on Tuesday, we'll call that our first class back. And um, I have linked here three of the videos that have been recorded by the textbook author that I want you to look at. And then uh, Thursday, the second class back, they're linked to three more of those videos. And then what I do is I give you the links to videos and then I follow them up with questions about what's discussed in the videos. So here I have a bunch of questions. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five questions. And um, I either give the solution or I give a reference to where you can find the solution on these videos. I mean, I I don't want to ask you questions and not give you any idea you know, how you can answer the question. So uh, on all of my questions, there might be one exception, I think, but I'm not sure. With all of my questions, I try to give you uh, links to solutions. Now, at the end of the course, I said I'm going to give a, a final exam. And the final exam will be based on these questions. And then, uh, I, like I said, I'm going to also generate some other questions that I'll, and I'll put everything together in a sample final exam. And the, and the purpose of the sample final exam is to be very, very similar to what the final exam would be. Now, it's my intention just to give you a take home final. So uh, if you know how to answer these questions at, that I put on here following the class videos, if you know how to answer these questions and you know how to do the sample final exam in particular, then you should be set. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think you should be just be able to go in and uh, and almost copy and paste and do the uh, the final for the course. So I'm I'm not trying to make it uh, uh, overly confusing and difficult. Okay, so uh, here is the uh, the what I call it the updated syllabus, and I've posted that on the Moodle and. Um, Conceivably, I will go in from time to time and and add stuff to this, and I will send out an email to everyone if I do that. And uh, so uh, the course, you can pretty much, if you go through, I urge you to keep current on looking at the videos for the classes, like these are the videos for class nine, as I call it. And then I have the questions about those videos here. These are videos for class 10 and questions about those videos and so on. So um, one of the nice things about doing things online 
is the fact that you can do it asynchronously. asynchronously. In other words, you can go on and watch the videos on your schedule, and and uh, and that uh, that'll be great. Uh, I urge you to you know keep up. Don't let yourself get behind. And also, if you're seriously interested in trying to understand the material in the course, which is you know, pretty important material, I think understanding how networks work. Uh, if you think about it, if it weren't for networks, we wouldn't be able to do any of this right now, what we're trying to do. So understanding how networks work is, uh, I think, uh, a, an important skill uh, if you're going to call yourself a computer scientist. So now with that, um, let's see, I've gone over the syllabus here. I've tried to be clear about my intentions with the final exam. Um, I've told you where you can uh, um, find my YouTube uh, page and and find the videos there. And um, so are there any questions out there about everything I've talked about? I don't hear any questions. No, we don't have questions. Uh, uh, hello, sir. Can I just clarify one thing? So yeah. we meet we meet every Tuesday. I it is my uh, current plan to um, come on here uh, every Tuesday for a few minutes to see if somebody wants to talk about something. Uh, but if no, but if we if I do that a couple of weeks and nobody shows up, I'm probably going to stop doing it uh, because, like I said, th this is the middle of the night for me. Uh, it's uh, it's about one thirty in the morning here my time, and um, so uh, uh, now uh, so yeah yes sort of is the answer to my question your question so. Uh, so next week, I'll come on, and um, if nobody shows up, then I'm, I may not do it again. Uh, and then if we want to uh, get together, uh, I'll just uh, send out a, an email, and I'll schedule another video session, or let's let you all know uh, when I'm going to schedule a session so we can get together. So does that answer your question? Okay, yes, thank you. Okay. Okay, well, um, I hope uh, everybody is doing well. Uh, anybody get sick? Actually, I'm not sick, but I already recovered. Oh, wow, you had it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm, uh, I'm trying really hard not to get it because I'm uh, well over that... Uh, threshold age threshold were uh, a lot of people uh, my age get sick and they die from this thing so uh, I'm trying really hard not to get sick I'm waiting for the vaccine and uh, so I'm going to stay hunkered down uh, and hopefully the vaccine comes out in a few months and um, I'm glad you're uh, I'm glad you're still alive there, because uh, 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 you're uh, you're one of the students who actually pays attention, and and uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, uh, I'm glad you re you've recovered there. So yeah, this is all a big mess, uh, and um, I uh, I guess all of my fears have come true. Uh, I wish they hadn't. I wish I would have been wrong about this, but uh, so we got to get through it, and it's something you'll be able to tell your grandchildren about. So, uh, okay, everybody. Well, about, yeah. What about situation down there? Like the 
things about the uh, black guy got killed and those things that happened in USA. Um, you have a question about that? Yeah, I mean, how is your situation? Oh, why are you not protesting? Why am I not protesting? Yes. Yeah. Um, well, I I kind of answered that question. I'm trying to keep myself isolated so I don't get sick. You're not social responsible citizen then. I've never been socially responsible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on now. Don't accuse me of that. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I've never been socially responsible. And um so uh, uh it's um uh, yeah, I, I think it's a you know, it's a it's an uh, it was an appalling uh situation and I uh it's hard to understand what goes through people's minds when they do things like that. And um but uh, it's uh I think uh there's a good chance that uh there's going to be uh, uh there are going to be demonstrations and riots all summer because of that and um, here in the United States, because uh, that's what happened back in 1968, uh, which is the most similar thing that's happened in my lifetime, you know, are the race riots in 1968 here in the United States. And uh, there it lasted all summer. And uh, so that's my guess. This is going to last all summer. We'll see. Um, uh, it, uh, I hope it doesn't and, uh, but I'm afraid that it might. Okay. Okay, everybody, um, take care of yourselves and, um, be healthy and, uh, I'll uh, be talking to you next time, and uh, it's uh, it's it's nice to, to be back in touch with you. I I'm enjoying that. Sir, just one more question. Yeah. So you posted everything in Moodle, right? These questions and course videos. Yeah, uh, I haven't posted all the course videos in Moodle. The course videos are on my YouTube page. Okay. What about the questions? How, how this document is called? Yeah, this document is called, uh, I think it's called updated syllabus, something like that. Um, and uh, so it's right on Moodle. I've, uh, so look for something called update syllabus and that's what this document is. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. You too. Take care, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Давайте не выключать. don't turn off, please. Да, давайте, давайте, давайте. Let's.